products I wish I could return, but I can't because I was way too freaking lazy and didn't return these within the 30 day deadline. So now I'm stuck with them and they're the biggest waste of money and I never use them. If you are really into putting a sparkly olive oil on your lips, then you would love this. No, actually it doesn't even look sparkly when you put it on your lips. This is the most deceiving product because when I saw this, look how like freaking sparkly it is. I was so freaking excited. I'm like, oh my God. No, let me just show you. Okay, it's yellow. Okay, maybe it's like a little bit sparkly, but like compared to what it looks like in the bottle, and it's yellow and it doesn't even taste good and it's not hydrating. This is just like honestly the most deceiving product I've ever bought in my life, but the packaging is so freaking cute, so I put it on display in my bathroom. I wanted to like the one size powder so freaking bad, but I, I just can't. I can't. I've tried it a million times. I've tried patting it out. Like it is just so, look at even in the cap, it just looks so freaking clumpy. And it doesn't give me that filter effect that, like the Huda Beauty does or the Maybelline Fit Me. All right, then we have the Say Sun Melt, and this is not a bad product at all. Like, actually, I feel like it blends in really well. But I'm kind of lazy when it comes to my makeup, and I just like something that I can just put, like, I can just quickly, like, throw on and blend in really easily. And this just requires too much, too much effort on my end. I just hate how you have to, like, find certain brushes and then dip it into this and then blend it out. I just like contour sticks way better because if you want to snatch your nose, you literally draw two lines, blend it, and you're done. It's just a four today to grab a few things, so I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do a little haul because I think like these videos are always fun. Finally got a new one of these little guys. So obsessed with this little puff from Beauty Blender. It just like slides onto your fingers. I always use this for my powder. And mine is disgusting, past salvaging. So we got a new one. Next up is Rare Beauty. You guys, I have never used this blush. But this color, this is shade Worth. I tried it on my hands and was like, immediately, yes. For part of my mom's Christmas gift, I got her a Sephora gift card. She wants to like go get her makeup done there and try new products, so then she'll be able to buy the products. This is the First Aid Beauty Smooth Skin Holiday Set. I'll show you guys what's in here. We love First Aid Beauty, and like this set is like 50% off. So we have the little chafe stick, the body scrub, which she's been eating a new one of these. Little ingrown hair pads, amazing. And then my favorite, the Ultra Repair Cream. So good so good she has super dry skin so this is absolutely perfect and it just like makes a cute little gift you know i also think sephora was like 20 percent off today so i think i got this for even cheaper i got a little mini prada perfume use this in stores and it smelled so good i wasn't ready to commit to the full size but throwing this in my purse this is what i'm most excited about so i got a concealer from anastasia beverly hills a worker there said this is like absolutely amazing it's like the best formula i'm really excited to see how this like wears throughout the day from tarte i got this little like dual sided eyeliner so like one side is liquid liner and the other side like a normal pencil liner and i needed a restock on both so this is like absolutely perfect and i'm obsessed with this like little tip got the little mario face mist this is the aloe and rose water one i just i love a good face mist I also love anything travel size because it's so easy to take on the go. Okay, last but not least, I quite literally got five lip liners. So, first shade is Anywhere Caffeine. I was already testing these on my hands, but I'll show you guys the colors. Like, tell me that isn't the perfect nudie pink. This one is in shade Versatile Chestnut. Just a little bit of like a darker shade. So pretty. And then this one is in shade Limitless Brown, and it's just like a really pretty, nice brown liner. At Two Makeup by Mario. This one is in shade Daniel, and I'm actually wearing this one on my lips right now, and it's so nice because it comes with like the little like blotting brush on the ends. And this one is a little holiday color. They also come with the sharpener, which is nice. This one is in shade Neils, and it's just like the perfect, perfect red. Forgot to end that video, so bye thousand dollars to for a haul security actually thought i was robbing the store first thing i got is this benetton lip stain cheek and lip stain it's like pretty bright pink color my second time buying it next thing i got is this summer fridays lip balm this is the vanilla beige color which is i think the most popular shade there they have it's like an everyday lip balm also there's a viral product that everyone's been trying to get for months I finally got it i'm gonna see if it's worth the hype this is the patrick ta brow gel major brow gel just my go-to brow fixer product this changed my life this, this is the only concealer i use it's just insane i love it so much i wear it in all my videos the house labs concealer and it's just perfect there's no concealer i love more than this one something from the hair i got this amika blowout spray because i want to start doing blowouts hopefully this was expensive patrick top huge eyeshadow palette a little upgrade just, just look at it just look at it all the shades you need so i'm gonna go like super sonic speed because i don't think i'll have enough time so that's why this is chaotic house labs lip oil and i just i love this adds to any lip combo you're wearing or the blush actually really popular hourglass blush late night whoa I'm blown away just by the design okay 
so excited because I'm getting closer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow. You can never have too much. Next viral thing is the Ordinary uh, Pink Serum. I think it's new. I've never seen this before. Can I open this? Whoa, it's so pink. Like a soothing and barrier support serum. And I got this Summer Friday Skin Tint. Need a skin tint for the cold times. The, the cold season. Shade 4. Because there's less and less sun nowadays. I hate to do this, but this is going to need a part 2. Okay, guys, I have a Sephora haul. And if you hear any random sounds, my sister is wrapping gifts back there. Okay, so this is like the best thing I probably got. I got the um, bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. And I'm super excited about these. Like, And it also came with this Lala Retro sample. By the way, I paid for everything in this haul. Okay, next I got this Patrick Ta blush in shade She's Giving. Okay, guys, I'm going to show what the blush looks like because I know this is a popular one called She's a Doll or something, but I couldn't find that one. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. The pink is like so pretty. Okay, guys, next I got my birthday gift and I chose the Glow Recipe little mini things. And I'm really excited to use the dewdrops because I've never used these before. I'm also super excited about this because I got the Rare Beauty. I got the Rare Beauty highlighter in shade in Lighten. I'm so excited. Guys, look how pretty that shade is. Okay, so I was running low on my Ordinary Serum, like the Hyaluronic Acid. Okay, this is not opening. Okay, I was running low on my serum, but instead of getting the Hyaluronic Acid, I got the one with the S. Okay, this serum is like supposed to be acne prone, so hopefully it works. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name. Okay, you guys can like basically already see this through the package, but I got the um, Tarte brush and I've really been wanting this. Okay, and this is the last thing of the haul. I got the Tower 28 lip gloss in like the clear shade. Well, the real shade is called Chill, but I've been seeing so many ads over this and like I really wanted to get it. But that was my haul, and surprisingly, this was all under $200. Hey guys, get ready with me, except I'm so fucking late right now. Okay, before y'all get mad, um, this is probably my last get ready with me for school, because I literally finished school this week. Like, I'll probably make a get ready with me for school tomorrow, but then on Thursday, it's prom, so it's gonna be a get ready with me for prom and not a get ready with me for school. And then after prom, it's like, done. Like, it's gonna be bye-bye high school, um, but I'm actually so fucking late today. Like, usually when I do my get ready maze and when I'm late, I'm like, I'm late, but I'm not, like, late late. But y'all, I forgot to set- Fuck! I forgot to set my alarm last night, so I woke up at 8, and I have to freaking leave the house at 8, and today's the worst time to be late, because I have a lab, um, first block. I have a lab, first block, and then- after my lab, I have this, like, capstone fair, and I have to fucking go. Otherwise, I can't graduate. Like, yeah, I already walked across the stage, but the diploma's fucking fake. It's a piece of paper. I'm actually gonna cry. This is not the time or day to be late. <laughs> but, like, at the same time, I'm trying to say it's, like, a good thing because... Oh, God. Okay, it's a good thing because my last get ready me can be a late one because I'm always late, so... I'm gonna end it off being late but don't worry y'all i'll make one tomorrow as well because tomorrow's actually my last get rid of me for school um and like i have to print stuff before i leave so i can't even just like go when i'm done getting ready so i'm just gonna be late to my lab like honestly it is what it is because i need the stuff to print um for the capstone also i woke up today and i was like why can i see and it's because i fucking fell asleep with my contacts last night <laughs> which is so bad guys don't fall asleep in your contacts it's really bad for your eyes um but now they're like glued to my eyeball and i can't get them out okay i literally still have to go print like four things and i have to type it out still did i already say that i don't even remember okay setting spray oh Y'all, my eye hurts so bad. I need to put in, like, a fresh set of contacts, but I can't get them out. Okay, I did my mascara off camera because I literally can't right now. Bye, y'all. Okay, let's do a Sephora haul. <laughs> do yeah. you want to show yours first? Um, you can show yours first. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. First things first. We shopped in store today, so I placed an order online this morning, and whatever I could get in store, I just went in because I thought it'd be fun to take cruise. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray. People love this. I've used this before. 
Okay. Because I love opening stuff, guys. That's so fun. Sorry, our dog is barking up. So me. Dummy. We had to kick him out because he's going to start eating all of our stuff. Yeah. And then I also got the minis of them for travel, too. This is the hourglass. 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 <laughs> Primer, vanished primer. You gonna open that? Show them. Beauty. A travel size Orbe dry texture spray. These glowy super gel minis. Two things of my favorite cotton pads. These are the Shiseido ones. Sun glow, star glow, and then a limited edition one in warm glow. So excited about that. This is why Why so? I got four lip colors. That one's the YSL um, Flashing Rose, I think it's called. I literally love these. Oh, it's pretty pink. The Sweet Mouth, which I've had before. I lost mine, I think. This is like a super pretty milky pink. I got two shades in the Maracuja Juicy Lip. So I got the Plump in cherry blossom and then i got the regular lip in grapefruit why can't you open it i don't know there's like 10 more minutes hey let me go get the scissors this is grapefruit and this is cherry blossom oh we got it okay i wanted this scalp revival thing i've had one before but one of my girlfriends really loves it so i was like let me try it again and it came in like a set with the felt scrub Oh, don't we do like a scout scrubbing party tonight or something? Oh, yeah. We can film that for you guys, too, maybe. I got this gray. Oh, I like it. Really? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. got something scalp. Like my mom. It was at Sephora. It was only for $12. Like, I love Sephora sale day, guys. Ah. And then this was still like for $5. You remember how much everything was? Yeah. Oh. And this was 13 Oh, and I was restocking on this because I use it every single time for my skincare. And it was so good. And I just love it. And then got all these. Yeah, these ones came in a holiday set, right? Yeah. So this one is pinkish. There. Look. Each inside. Instead of pink. Look. This is a non-need. This is not a need. a need. This is a want. I mean, nothing was a need. Oh, <gasps> I need something. How freaking cute. I already have the Dyson Airwrap, but I have like the one from the maybe 80s, like... The 80s or the 90s? No. From like three or four years ago. So I don't have the interchangeable barrels. Or I have the interchangeable barrels. And then I also don't have the long barrels. And how cute is this color? Should we open it? Let's open it for you guys. So this is so freaking cute. Okay, the lid completely comes off on this one. The other one, it doesn't. This is so cute. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, get ready with me while I respond to some of the comments I got from my Sephora haul. So here are the comments and I am going to be reading through them while I'm getting ready. So I see a lot of comments about how much I spent. And yes, I did spend a lot of money. And why did I buy all this stuff? It's because I'm going to be moving to a whole different country without a Sephora for the whole summer. So I need some stuff. So I'm basically taking advantage of the sale to get all the stuff that I need. And also trying all the stuff I have never tried before that I've also been wanting to try. So I just read a comment saying, why do I talk weird? So the way I talk and my accent is something I've always been kind of insecure about because I wasn't born here. I was born and raised in the Philippines for about 14 years. I came here and I was still learning English and I still am. So I just saw a comment about someone saying, it's a waste of money that I bought all this Sol de Janeiro because when am I going to use all of this body cream? So I actually did some research before I bought all this. And I think one thing that a lot of people don't know is that all of this have different purposes. So I'm going to go through them. So the Beige of Floor one is to maintain a youthful Brazilian bounce and deeply moisturizes skin. 
The Balm Dia is a retexturizing body cream. Nour nourishes as it reveals healthier, smoother, brightening looking skin. And then the last but not the least, the Boom Boom Body Cream. Thank you for everyone who corrected me with that. It is a fast absorbing body cream, helps visibly tighten an appearance of skin. So like I was saying, they all have different purposes. So please don't get mad at me for buying all three. Next thing was people saying like, did I just put it back because I already used it? Yes, I did because I wanted to make a haul. And I wasn't going to wait to open them after I make the haul. Because I bought it Friday and I made the video Sunday, which was yesterday. So I went out Saturday and I tried some of the products, not all of them. And people are upset because I like used it already. Another thing that was a mistake on my end because I said, um, look at this flower, it's so cute. I kept saying employer and that is definitely my fault. I, like I said, like I'm still learning English. I'm not perfect with it. So I apologize. I should have said employee or worker, but I just feel like you guys don't have to be so mean about it. Next thing is me referring to the products by like she or like her. I'm just like so used to doing that and I probably should be careful. So I apologize for all the people I offended by referring to the products as she or her. Anyway, out of all the unpleasant comments that I've received, I just want to thank everyone who were like so sweet to me and complimenting me. Blood, lip, and done. Huge glow recipe haul. I woke up this morning and turns out glow recipe sent me a huge bag full of goodies. Wow. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Wait, quickly, like good and bad news. So good news is that I can use glow recipe products. Bad news is that I'm allergic to the watermelon extract. So whenever I use like the dew drops and toners, it burned my face so bad I had no idea why. Turns out I'm allergic to the watermelon extract. I just love the packaging. I love the packaging. Okay, so these are the Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. This is guava, not watermelon. Oh, this is going to be hard to... Oh, that was easy to open. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. Wait, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I want to smell it. That smells really, really good. Oh my gosh. Let me know if you guys want to see a skincare routine with just Glow Recipe. Wow, that smells amazing. The Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA AHA Serum. Is this a primer? I'm not sure if this is a primer. Oh wait, no, I don't think this is a primer. Oh my god, another super cute packaging. I think this might just be like a serum. Oh, it's for clarifying. So let's see. I'm just going to smell all of them because I need to know. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. And just look at the packaging. It's just so cute and elite. Next, we have the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum. Avocado. Is this going to smell like an avocado? What does an avocado even smell like? Kind of smells like honeydew. But, okay, wait, I want to rub it in. All of these are, like, really lightweight. And then we have one more product, and this is their Glow Recipe Plum Plum Hyaluronic Gloss Balm. It kind of reminds me of, like, the Laneige Sleeping Mask. Oh, that smells really good. I am so obsessed. Thank you so much, Glow Recipe. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush. Hey, y'all. The reason why my Sephora cart was so expensive Expensive is because of this one product right here. I cannot believe I paid for this my own money. Hop on in here. We got a Sephora haul. You know, I don't quite understand because every year I say I'm not gonna buy anything, but yet and still here we are. And in my head, if I said I wasn't gonna spend no more money at Sephora, that means I didn't spend more money at Sephora. Girl math. So let me show y'all what I decided to get from the Sephora sale. It's a big haul, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay. So first thing first, baby, I re let me tell y'all something. What I don't play about is glaze number eight. I mean, mystery glaze. If you have never tried this shade, oh my gosh, it is the most gorgeous shade. Like it literally just makes your lips look so luscious. And I'm a fan of a good luscious lip. And these do just that. Wait, I ordered three of these. I just not placed the order on their website for three. I'm just a girl. You can't blame me. <laughs> then I decided to re-up on my Jose Moran body butter. Y'all, I finally got a re-up of the Pure Vanilla Bean. When I tell you this is top tier body butter, it leaves your skin. I can't, I'm not going to open this. Well, yes. 
it smells amazing. It smells like vanilla bean. And it literally leaves your skin so hydrated. If you like a body cream that leaves you feeling soft and buttery, but not like oily and sticky, but literally like moisture that lasts and makes your skin look so soft and supple, this is the one. I only like it in this scent. So yeah. Then I decided to get the Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat. This is in the shade Fussy Heat. I used to already have this one, but I lost it. So, you know, clearly I had to just replace it. So I'm basically wasting my money, but girl math. I also got this one, the one that I currently have on. It's in the shade um, Hot Cherry. Gorgeous. You see it on the lips. Like, I'm obsessed. Okay, so let me continue. Then continue on with lips. As y'all can tell, I'm obsessed with lip products. I got the Moisture Glow On The Go um, Makeup by Mario set. This is apparently the minis. Come on, we have a time limit. Oh, these are so cute. I love the suede packaging. Much smaller than I thought it would be. Oh, it's like the MAC ones. <sighs> this is so cute. Okay, so this is the first shade. Oh, that is going to eat with a liner. And then this is the second shade. Wow. This consistency is literally similar to the MAC product. So that's really cool. They're very cute. Then I had to re-up on my topical eye mask. I'm not gonna lie. At first when I tried these, I was like, mm, kind of overhyped. But once I started to continually, continuously use these, y'all, they literally do make your eyes brighter underneath. So I had to re-up and get some more of these. Um, then, oh my gosh, I did get this one. I forgot I even ordered this. Wow, okay. I'm happy I didn't order it again. The Believe Moisturizing Balm Toner. So I got this because if you know me, you know I love the Laneige toner. Considering the color of it, I'm pretty sure it's white, right? Yeah, like it's white. And I know for a fact Laneige had this first and I am on like my fourth bottle. But anyway, I saw this one and I was like, let me get this as well. So that's why I got it. Then I got a little set. That it, um, a little set from Kiehl's as I think this is like a, is this a freebie? This is a big freebie, I doubt it, I don't know. But I wanted the Ultra Facial Cream, so that's why I got that set. And y'all, the reason why my Sephora cart was so expensive is because of this one product right here. I cannot believe I paid for this my own money. I can't believe I bought this my own money. Do you hear me? I, I, y'all, Yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, when I tell you this is like something that I would have never, if you told me three years ago I was buying La Mer, I would smack you in the face. And I'm not even kidding. I don't care. File assault charges. That's ridiculous for you to say. I purchased a, I purchased the La Mer, y'all. And I literally got this because at Neiman's I got a um, sample of the moisturizing cream. Oh my God, for one, the packaging. Hello, it's giving, it's worth the coin, okay? This is what I'm talking about. Wow, velvet, y'all, it's not velvet, it's suede in the inside, baby. Wow, okay, so when I got a sample at Neiman's, I fell in love, like this stuff is really, really good. It, in my opinion, I guess clearly it's worth the price. Um, I tried to not buy it for a very long time, hoping I would get PR, never did. So I just decided to buy it while it was on like a little sale, I guess you could say, because like two came with it. And now I have a travel and a at-home one. And y'all, I really do like the La Mer Moisturizing Cream. <sighs> it's expensive, but all right. Then I got a re-up of my Sephora um, Micro Smooth Powder and Toffee. I already told y'all this is the best powder for smoothing on the market. Buy it. Look, don't add me, just buy it. Then I got two of these Sephora Collection Molasses, my favorite lip liner. So when I use today, I have to keep this in stock. Then I decided to try the Sephora Lip um, Glosses. This is in the shade 7, Outrageous. And I've heard so much about these. I believe Jackie I know is talking about them. So I finally bit the bullet and just say, you know what? Add the cart. Then, oh my gosh. Hello, do you see this? I had to get a re-up. I decided to get the refillable size of the Youth of the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach. Hello. If you aren't using this, I'm sorry, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me know now. Like I cannot talk about this product more than what I already have. It's amazing, y'all. Like the best cleanser for your face. You got kale, green tea, spinach. What mold do you want? Cucumbers? Okay. Anyway, 
The next thing is this, this Rare Beauty, another lippy. Oh my gosh, clearly I'm obsessed with lippies. This is in, um, I'm trying to go fast, y'all. Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil. The bottle literally got made me confused. That's why I never really purchased these, but okay, let's see. What is it giving? Ooh, this is actually cute. Okay, Selena. So, this is in the shade Hope. Oh, is it like the corresponding shades to the blushes? Then I decided to re-up on my Tatcha Lip Lip Kisu Lip Mask. Like literally, y'all, this is the best lip mask. Like I just need you to see how juicy. Hold on, let me get the spoon. You need to see how juicy this is. Like, hello, do you, baby? And when it goes on the lips, y'all, it looks so good. Y'all see that? This is way too expensive for me to be wasting it. Let me put that little bit back up in there, okay? Okay, so these are just some freebies. The actual Laneige little set. And then the hip, oh, also got the Huda Beauty Waterproof Lash Glue. Apparently, it's a good lash glue. That's all for there. And then onto this bag. Yeah, we ain't done, baby. I got the Sephora, I mean, the Charlotte Tilbury set in the setting spray kit. One of them is called White Tea of Bali. I don't know what that means, but... It was like $30 for both of them, so I decided to grab it. And then I got a highlighter by Fenty Beauty. The two shades that I got. So cute. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use this. This is in the shades Mean Honey and Hustler Baby. I'm a hustler, baby. I just want you to know. All right, then I decided to re-up on my re replica bubble bath. I'm so sorry, but... Y'all can say what y'all want about this scent. If you have not tried it or if you have tried it and you don't like it, something wrong with your nose, no, I'm playing. But I literally love Bubble Bath by Replica. It's like the perfect scent for me getting out of the shower. And also sometimes like going to the gym, I like to wear this. It's just a very fresh and clean scent. So love this. Have to get a new one of that. Then my last two things is, okay, the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I keep on trying to tell y'all, Lip Glowy Balm is where it's at. And then I finally got this Hype TikTok product, the Hourglass Concealer, but I got it in a contour shade, I think. Let me see. Yeah, I did, because I need like a new contour shade. So and let me just say, this is also the darkest shade. And for me to have to get the darkest shade is kind of suspect, because like, um, yeah, I'm dark, but I ain't, I ain't the darkest. Like, come on, where's the love for the darker girls? Like, that's all I got from Sephora. I'm gonna go put this to use today. Because, girl, I ain't going to tell you how much it costs. All right, but that's all I got. <laughs> Let me know what y'all got in the comments. Because I went a little too crazy. more of a skincare girl than I have been a makeup girl but I figured it's time to evolve grow change whatever so I'm getting into makeup so I bought a whole ass kit let's get into it first up some Charlotte Tilbury classic the airbrush flawless setting spray the classic pillow talk medium liner and lipstick a handful of things from rare beauty soft pinch blush brush the always an optimist powder brush the classic highlighter a couple of Patrick Ta goodies. They were like all sold out of the Cream Duo blushes, but I did get a contour palette and this one is in She's Bronze. And of course I got the matching brush to go with. Moving on to Hourglass, the Varnish Brush Primer. Also got this concealer brush. It is just, oh my gosh, like a couple say things picked up the sun glow and then i picked up the dew blush in chili that's gonna be so pretty got the makeup by mario ethereal eyes palette she's divine such a throwback i used to put nara's orgasm all over my face in middle school and when i saw that they had the cutest little orgasm liquid blush immediately yes that's so pretty. I'm literally wearing it right now. It is honestly so gorgeous. Just look at that. This YSL Candy Glaze lipstick. This was a complete impulse purchase. I was not planning on getting this, but I did it. Developing a little thing for Dior. So I got the little blush in. This is in Rosewood. So pretty. Wearing it on top of Orgasm right now. And I think it's just a gorgeous combination. So got the House Labs concealer. Picked up just a classic brown liquid eyeliner. This one's from Lancome. Benefit 24 hour brow setter. And the last thing I got, which is a little boring, is of course the beauty blender cleaner.
Are you freaking kidding me right now? <gasps> oh. Oh my god. I got from the Sephora savings event. I've said this before, but because I do this as my job, by the time the sale rolls around so that I could test everything and tell you if it's worth a recommendation, I've already bought most of the things that I would have liked to have purchased. So when the sale is here, it's usually just a bunch of boring restocks of products that I already um, used and was running low on. I did do um, two Kosas repurchases. At this point, are you sick of this? Like I, I wear these every single day of my life. Um, so I did get the Kosas Revealer Concealer in shade 6O. This is the one that I basically wear all over my entire face. I kind of wear the Kosas Concealer as a foundation. Another Kosas Airbrow, because I wear this every single day of my life again. Um, I got it in the shade Soft Brown, because I did um, lighten my eyebrows. So again, another repurchase, but you've seen my um, Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. This one's in the shade Medium Dark. That's just so enticing to me, like a fresh can of this because my other one is almost gone. And I had to get this, the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. My other one, like I've mentioned this before, but this is my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time. Um, my other one, I took on two trips last year. I took it to Palm Springs for two weeks where we were like bouncing around Airbnbs and hotels and a couple of the shadows broke in transit. And then the icing on the cake was I took my old Ethereal eyes palette to Las Vegas, dropped it in the bathroom. Um, the mirror completely had shattered and there was like glass everywhere. So this is sacred to me because it's been brought out of the limited edition vault. I love this eyeshadow palette. Parasauce 8 Hour Magic Night Serum. Again, this is a restock. Had to take advantage of getting it for 20% off. Honestly, now when I'm thinking about it though, I'm like, should I get one more? Because again, like it's ridiculous. I spent so much money on this. This is just like the Kosas concealer on the airbrow. Like I... I can't live without this. House Labs was by far the most recommended. So I got the, these are interesting, Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter. Okay, I love that, that kind of like opalescent. Um, but like they do feel really, I don't know, I'm excited to put this on my face. This is in the shade Golden Pyrite, and then I also got a lot of recommendations for the bronzer. This is the light level number three. You can definitely see it though, right? Or did I get one too light? And then the House Labs Concealer. Again, got so many recommendations, so I really hope I like this. This is the Triclone Skin Tech Concealer. I got it in 21. Just really hoping that I like this. It looks really nice and smooth. I got it obviously several shades lighter because um, I want to use it as a brightening concealer. And then these three are all restocks because I was running out. So this is the Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm from Hourglass. It's the shade Rise, which is my personal favorite. This has kind of become my like everyday um, purse lip color that goes in my bag. Um, and then I got another Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. This one's in the shade Vanilla Beige. 
Um, mine that I have right now split at this seam. So I tried to fix it with a flat iron and I completely melted it. And it, yeah, I had to throw it away because there was a bunch of melted plastic throughout it. So there's vanilla beige. And then the last one I got is the Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm in Milky Nude. Again, it, has it been two years yet or has it just been like a little bit over a year? This is like one of my most worn lip colors ever. I have repurchased many a time now too. And these smell so good. Like the smell of these is literally to die for. So there's Milky Nude. A bunch of nudes, but I mean, at least I'm being honest. It's what I wear every day, so we did it. <laughs> you wonder what I do for fun? I shop at Sephora, thanks for asking. My Sephora order from the sale came in. I also forgot to order one thing. Twist my arm, I might have to go back on the Sephora app and order it. It's the Mirror Beauty Concealer that I forgot to order. We're gonna rapid fire. We both know that that's not gonna happen. I feel like I always tell a long story about every product. Paula's Choice Exfoliate Value Size, thank you very much. Lawless, forget the filler, their Value Size lip glosses. I got Milkshake and also Rosy Outlook. The brand did send me Rosy Outlook, so now I have two. What if we do a little giveaway? This keeps happening, so it's a little teeny tiny giveaway of the rosy outlook and maybe i'll include one or two of my other favorite products just follow me in here on instagram tag a friend add a cute emoji and i'll pick a winner i'll announce it in my story so if there's ever any giveaway accounts it's not me it will come from this account this milkshake brings all the boys to the yard Ooh! i also got the charlotte tilbury liner which i love the lip liner but i got hot gossip because i want to try every shade then i got the kerastase eight hour overnight serum People were telling me that this is so worth every single penny, so we need to try it. I restocked my Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. I keep saying I'm going to do a skincare video soon. I am. I really am. But this is a staple. I did take it upon myself to get multiple of the Refi Lip Sculpt... Lip Sculpts. I got Dusk Fawn and Rosewood. So we're going to try those in another video. And then I bought their Tinted Lip Gloss in Sepia. I will have to try that because... Their lip gloss is 10 out of 10, and they have tinted ones now. I don't wear a ton of eyeshadow, but I love a good neutral. I ordered the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette. I just thought the shades are really pretty for the holidays, and this one looks like the perfect peach shade, which I've been looking for. Mom, if you're watching, I got you two buxom lip glosses in Celeste and Kimberly, and then I felt a little left out, so I got Kimberly too. Because Kimberly, Kimberly knows what's up for buxom. I got another palette. I don't know if that was a, probably not an accident. This is the Huda Beauty Matte. You guys, I am on the lookout for the perfect fall, winter shades. I am not very good at eyeshadow, though, so maybe this will be fun. I was so influenced by TikTok to get the Kaoli Discovering Set because I feel like everybody and their mother, dog, sister, cat, hamster, second cousin, great uncle, has this. I swear. And I want to try it. And we're going to be smelling super scrumptious. That's not a word. This is the longest Sephora haul ever. I got the Givenchy powder. We're going to do a battle of the powders because you know I'm a ride or die Huda beauty powder. But my girlies told me that this was good. My girlies meaning you. I'm really excited to try the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in the shade Perfect Pink. The last thing I ordered is the Stay Quartz Glow, Glow Sculpt. You either love that or hated that. But I have been dying to try this. And it looks, I already have a lot of glow going on, but so excited. If you want to enter the little giveaway, I'll put all the details in the comments and I'll pick a winner in about two days. I'll post it on my story. I'll put it in the comments when I pick the winner. Just what's mine is yours. I love a little teeny tiny giveaway. And that's everything I ordered from the Sephora sale. Have the best day. Good morning, welcome. I'm gonna be sharing with you my Sephora sale haul. Listen, I am appalled at myself, okay? I don't need anyone else to judge me or tell me. Don't even look these up. I don't wanna know how much I spent, okay? Okay, we're ignoring that, moving on. I'm really hoping I don't like some of this because that would make me feel better if I could return something, but we'll see. Starting off with skin, got this Cali Ray primer and setting spray set. They swatched the primer on me in store. My hand felt like a baby spot. Never felt anything so smooth. And I've had really dry skin lately, so they recommended this setting spray. Hydrating, hopefully it works. 
Okay, then we got the Patrick Ta foundation. To be honest, it felt a little greasy on me when I swatched it in store without the powder, but I'm hoping with the powder it's really good. I've heard it's great in photos. I got the shade um, Light 4. Has like a bit of a peach undertone. Okay, then I got the Giorgio Armani concealer. I wanted something a little bit more hydrating and I saw Vanessa Nicole Stern. I think that's her name. I love her. She recommended this concealer, so I'm gonna try this one out. Okay, this one I literally drove to three Sephora's for. I ended up ordering it online because nowhere had it. The Hourglass Snake Palette. Okay, this is the darkest of the three palettes. I don't know. The shades just spoke to me more. I'm not a cool toned girl, so the middle palette didn't love, but very excited for this. Got a new beauty blender. I usually just use ones from Amazon, but if I can get it on sale, I do prefer a beauty blender. And then I got, sorry, got the sponge as well. And roll in the store was telling me that the beauty blender rep was in there and saying how this is literally like a game changer. Anyways, moving on to eyes. Oh my goodness. Got the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions. Oh, that's a lot of light. Major Dimensions 3 eyeshadow palette. I saw a girl use this on TikTok. I liked it. It had some like cool neutrals and warm neutrals. I needed a new mascara. I ended up going for the Pat McGrath one. I actually have tried this out already and I am obsessed with it so far. So I will show you that later. It's really, really, really volumizing, which we love. Okay, time for lips. I got the Summer Fridays set. I've actually never tried their stuff before until I got this. Self-explanatory got a lot of lip stuff so i may end up returning something hourglass limited edition set i love the hourglass hourglass glossy bombs i have the one in lure and i love that color so i'm gonna try these out okay this refi cherry set like do i need to say more i just needed this okay then i got this say glow bounce hydrating lip oil i think it is glossy bounce hydrating lip oil i saw makeup by kellyanne use this um and she paired it with a lip liner from lawless that i did order but i'm still waiting on that one it looked incredible and i don't have like a brown like neutral brown lip so, so i went ahead and got this one and i already tried it out and i love it okay last two things i got the day styling cream and um, yeah this was out of stock for a while just came back and i picked it up and then very last, the Burberry Goddess perfume. I tried this in store and I swear it could smell it on me forever. It's a vanilla, but not like a super in your face, like very sweet vanilla. It's kind of different. My favorite perfume's from Loewe, but I'm burning through it. So we needed a new, we need a new perfume to add to the, add to the lineup. Okay, that is it for my very manic impulse purchase Sephora haul. I'm gonna go get ready now and use all these products. Hope this was at least entertaining. Don't judge me. See you soon. I'm not gonna lie. This is um, absolutely unacceptable, <laughs> but let's just go. I'm gonna try to go fast so I can get everything in. My birthday, which was on the 10th, four days before the sale. So I'm just including that in here. First repurchase of the You To The People Kel Cleanser. Literally obsessed with this cleanser. My skin is so dry now. I don't know what changed. So the topicals like butter moisturizer is literally so thick and saves my dry skin. Okay, then I was so lucky to snag the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Pink Sugar. And she smells like Lucky Charms taste. Does that make sense? A repurchase of the Sol de Janeiro 62 and my little birthday gift. Mm. Okay, next Sephora. Um, now that I'm pregnant, I cannot use retinol. So I am turning to retinol alternatives. So this is the Tatcha Silk Serum. I've been using this for a few days and I've been loving it, honestly. Merit um, Flush Balm in the shade Stockholm Prettiest Pink. Makeup by Mario Lip Liner in the shade Johnny. And then Sephora Collection uh, Pro Powder Brush, number 50. Okay, next, <laughs> Sephora Store. Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer in the shade Medium. I already own this and love it. It's just a shade darker. Uh, Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Mascara. Wearing it right now. Oh my God. And then Kosas Dream Beam SPF. It's a mineral SPF if you're pregnant. Don't wear chemical sunscreens. <laughs> And then last and certainly not least from this Sephora store I went to, um, Sunday Riley CEO After Glow Brightening Vitamin C Cream. Used it this morning in my skincare routine and love it. I have to do this so quick. Um, Dr. Dennis Gross 15% Vitamin C Serum, literally amazing. Say Glowy Super Skin, literally amazing. Um, Pat McGrath Divine Bronzer, brand new. She's stunning. Um, Herbivore Moon Fruit 1% Bakuchi. <laughs> <laughs> Bakuchio uh, Retinol Alternative Serum. <laughs> I'm shocked, it's just how. Um, Rare Beauty Positive Light. This is the highlighter in the shade Enchant. So cute. 
uh, Givenchy Prisme Libre, Prisme Libre Concealer. These are all lip products. Makeup by Mario New Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Soft Blush. This is finally in stock. YSL Rouge Volupt Shine Balm. I don't know, in the shade 44. Pat McGrath Satin Allure in Divine Rose. Pat McGrath Lip Liner in Starstruck. I'm wearing it right now. And then just a repurchase of the Summer Fridays Vanilla Lip Butter Balm. Had to restock the Rare Beauty Bronzing Stick. YSL All Hours Foundation, and then House Labs Highlight in the shade Pink Amethyst. Jumbo Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream and Lip Kissu Mask. And then my Holy Grail Tower 28 SOS Daily Facial Spray and Amika Jumbo Dry Shampoo. I did some damage at the Sephora sale, so let's do a haul and see everything that I got. I've been patiently waiting to unbox this all day long. I am so excited. There's so many things that I've been wanting to try, and I just like... It took everything in me to not order everything, okay? And I may or may not have hit Rouge placing this order. So let's go through all of the goodies. Got a lot of like viral things. And first things first that I'm so excited about is this Kosas spray. This is their plump and juicy vegan collagen spray on serum. Everybody raves about this. It is so viral and the bottle is like massive. So I feel like you get a lot of product and the packaging is just beautiful. No, you're probably not supposed to spray this with makeup on, but like, I just want to try it. Wow. That is like the nicest mister. I know it's like skincare and you're supposed to use it on clean skin, but like, I love that. Next up from Kosas, I got their Brow Pop Banano Ultra Fine Detailing Brow Pencil. I'm really excited to use this because everybody is like obsessed with it. I got the shade Medium Brown and it's a lot thinner than I like expected. Oh my gosh, it is so tiny. Like, you can barely even see the tip, but it's really, really pretty. I feel like it's very realistic when you're, like, filling in your brows, which I love. I don't like to make them, like, too dark, so I feel like this is going to be perfect. This is, like, super lightweight and good for traveling, and it comes with a little spoolie, and I just love that. Next up is from Miss Rare Beauty. I finally got my hands on their Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter. I got the shade Exhilarate, and everybody is just so obsessed with this. I've been waiting to try it for so long. It just took a long time for me to get my hands on. I got the shade Exhilarate, and this is just the most stunning thing I've ever, like, laid my eyes on. Are you joking? I'm going to swatch it for you guys just so you can see, but seriously, gorgeous. Next up is from Day. This is their Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. I've been wanting to get my hands on this for a while now to do like more slick back styles, so I'm excited. Everybody raves about it, says it holds their hair back, and is so good. So I feel like this is going to smell good. Yes, it smells amazing. I don't know why it's taken me long to try half of these things, but next up is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is apparently super, super hydrating, nourishing, moisturizing, and just feels so incredibly good on the skin. I got the mini to try out first, but I am obsessed with this. I love it. I love how thick it immediately comes out. It feels just so hydrating, and I have super dry skin, so I'm excited to use this. Next up, I got the Patrick Ta Brow Gel, which everybody loves. This is the clear gel formula, and I got the mini size just so I can, like, make sure that I like it first. They had the big size, but this looks perfect, and everybody just raves about it, and I am, like, down to nothing in my brow gel right now, so... The applicator is super cool, so we'll put it to the test. Love it already, but definitely have to make sure that I am like in love with it so I can get the full size. Next up, I got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. I got it in the shade Fair, and then I did get the Mini just because it is expensive, and I wanted to like make sure that I absolutely loved it, and this is her. She is so freaking cute, so I'm excited to use her. Next up, I had some points to redeem online, so I got this little Charlotte Tilbury kit. It has, like, a bunch of minis in it, and I thought it was super cute. So it comes with, like, a mini lipstick, the mini magic cream, and then a little mini magic serum. So these are, like, the three little things that you get. And I feel like these are, like, perfect for travel and so cute. I've heard amazing things about all of these. And also, look at this lipstick. This is the cutest little thing. This is the shade... It's Pillow Talk Medium, so pretty. Next up, I got the Tarte Marajuka Juicy Lip Liner in the shade Dusty Rose. I'm pretty sure this is the one that Alex Earl uses in like all of her videos, but it is just like the prettiest 
lip liner shade like i am obsessed and i can't wait to use it and because i ordered online i got samples so i just chose the summer fridays vitamin c peptide eye cream and then the giorgio armani my way perfume sample there were so many other things that i wanted to try but we had to limit ourselves bye